Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's cooking back at you today with another video. All right, what today we're going to be doing here, we're going to be doing us a, a Chantilly cake, a three layer cake. And in the middle of this cake, we're going to have peach preserve. We got a, a whole bottle in a, and I say about a little, just a three fourth of a bottle here. And we have all purpose flour. We got three cups of all, pur all purpose. We got two cups of regular sugar, five eggs. We're using two sticks of real butter. And we having one half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda as well. A tablespoon of vanilla stripe, one eighth of salt, a half a cup of vegetable oil. And we're gonna also have a half a cup of whole milk, which we're gonna turn into buttermilk. And we got one stick of margarine and a 12 ounce of cream cheese. That's gonna go for our icing. Okay, and then we already, we go, uh, we're gonna use a little bit, a, a teaspoon of vinegar to go into our milk. And the last time I called myself showing you how the milk looked when you put it in, um, vinegar and milk, but I did make sure I have it in the camera for you can see the difference of how it turns the milk into buttermilk. And we have two packing bags side up because we're going to have two different color of icing. So with that being said, let me move some of this stuff to the side and out the way if I can start sifting my flour and we can get to cooking. All right, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to do one, one eighth of salt. Everybody doing all right today? One eighth of salt. Then what we're going to do, before we get in, go any further, we're going to do one tablespoon a vanilla stripe that we're gonna go ahead and put in our milk. So we'll be already had that taken care of. Go ahead and get that in the milk. And we're gonna do one teaspoon, one teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of vinegar. Half a teaspoon of vinegar. And this time, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to show you how it look. And we're going to go also and go ahead and pour our oil, a half a cup of vegetable oil, into our cup of milk. So all that's mixed up. Everything, all the liquid's mixed up together now. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to stir this flour up and we're going to sift this flour. And we're going to go to the other side. All right, now what we're getting ready to do now, we're getting ready to, to sift our flour that quick. Get it all mixed up in here. And what we'll do when we get this undone, we'll be back at you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to sift our flour. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our two sticks of butter in here. And we're going to do, we're going to mix this up a little different here. We ain't gonna do it then putting the uh blending the sugar and the egg blending the sugar and butter like we've been doing. This time we're gonna do it, we're gonna blend the uh put our go ahead and put our butter in. We're gonna st let it stir up a little bit. And then what we're gonna do as we put our sugar in, we're gonna put our eggs in at the same time too and mix everything, the eggs and the sugar and the butter in at the same time. That's what that's how we're gonna do. We're gonna do we're gonna do a little mixing a little different here. So that's what we're gonna do. So first of all, let me just mix up the butter just a little bit. Put a little sugar in. Drop two eggs in. 
put a little sugar in. Rest our sugar in. We're gonna put our other egg in. We're gonna let this him mix up for about a good five, eight, nine minutes. I'll bring you back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna let this him mix up for about 10 minutes. Huh? And this is what it looked like now. This is how it looked right now. Like that there. It's fluffy. That's what we want. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start adding our flour in right now. Then we get our flour started going. I said I was going to show you how this buttermilk, how the milk looks. I, I forgot all about it. Slipped my mind. Sorry about that. Yep, slipped my mind on that one there. I'll get you next time. Forgot to show you how that looks when you put vinegar in your milk. My bad, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all know I got a bad mind. Be so hard on me. All right, we're gonna, we already know greased our pan with some Crisco. We're gonna go ahead and spread it also with some Baker's Joy. And I got nine inch baking pans. I'm supposed to have eight inch pans. So. See how that's gonna work out. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to count the batters on each pan. Cause I wanna do a three layer. Let me get my other pan. All right, we got our three pans there. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. 35 or 40 minutes. We're going to clean up this mess. And we're going to come back and do our icing. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We kind of changed the menu a little bit. I said I was going to uh, put one stick of cream cheese in. But I'm going to do a stick and a half. And I got another sticker. This time I got a stick of margarine and butter. So I'm going to put a stick of margarine and butter in this uh, cream cheese icing.
All right, we're going to go ahead and mix our uh, cream cheese and butter up. We got six cups of powdered sugar here. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of that in there. We're going to bring it back when we get this mixed up. All right, we're going to add a little vanilla flavor in this icing, about a teaspoon. And we're going to go ahead and stir that up. Then we're going to separate our icing. We're going to put another color on one. That's all we should need for that. What I want to do with that. So I set this aside. Now what I'm gonna do? Get my pack, packing bags, sawed up, and also get my preserves sawed up. We got our packing bag right here. We got a little tip on it. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it in this little cup here to help us get some of the icing in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my cakes just come out the oven. And they're looking pretty good. So we're going to let them right here cool off in here a little bit here. This is what we did, too. I went ahead and made it up a little bit more icing because it looked like I was going to be a little short with three layers. So all together, I started off with a stick and a half and a one box and a half of cream cheese. So I went ahead and added another half a box of cream cheese. So all together is going to be two boxes of cream cheese and uh, two sticks of butter. That's what it's going to be. Two and a half sticks of butter. But if I did it from the beginning, just mix the two uh, boxes of cream cheese and then just added my two sticks of butter and with my powdered sugar, all my powdered sugar, it, I, I got it. I put the recipe in right. All right, the icing is two sticks of butter and eight cups of powdered sugar. That's what we got. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got one of our piking bags filled right here. We got another one we made here. We're going to finish add up some coloring into our little small thing of mixture right here. And we're going to make this in yellow. That's what we're going to do. Make this right here a yellow color. Gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the rest of this ice in here into this piking bag here. We're still waiting on the cakes to cool off. We got them in the refrigerator cooling. We'll be back. All right, we're gonna get our little peach preserve. We're gonna go ahead and dump this in our pot here. Then we're gonna break it up with our spoon, a fork. We're gonna break it loose. Do now, so I didn't have like that there. All right, in case we have to. Don't use it all, we'll put some, put some back in the jar. So we'll hold on to one of these jars. So what we're gonna do now, we'll get our fork, we're gonna break it loose. Just like that there. All right, set that to the side. All right, what we're going to do is get our, our brush. We're going to brush the excess crumbs 
out the side of the cape. So it won't interfere with our frosting. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make us a ring around the edge of our cake. And this right here, what's gonna keep our let me get me a spoon. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our preserve in the middle. Like this. Spread that around like this, huh? Yeah. We're gonna go and get our other layer of cake. Alright, we're gonna set a border around this one here too. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get our back packing bag. We're gonna fill in our little cracks here. We got to clean that out. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and put our icing on the side, in the top, and y'all will be back when we get through, when we go to the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try to put up some little designs on this cake. No, we ain't no cake decorator, but We'll see how this gonna work out. We'll see how this gonna work out. Yeah, it's gonna work out. I got one messed up kind of bad though. I'm gonna put us a little around the edge here at the bottom here. Take that all the way around.
All right. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our cake. We'll let you see how it look on the inside. That's what we got. That's that a peach pres uh, preserve in the middle. Let's see the inside of the cake right here. All right, look on the inside. Just like that though. I'm going to get me a bite of this right here. See what it tastes like. See what we got going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See what we got going on. I knew it was going to be good anyway. Mmm. Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Put a thumbs up. Ring the bell. You'll be notified. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Peace.